the isness multiplies by its existence so the length by its isness multiplies when the multiplication breaks a point it gives birth to the next dimension length and breadth then these two go on multiplying they give birth to the third third dimension means tons and tons and billions of 1 meter thread kept 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 so length gives birth to breadth and length and breadth multiplying gives birth to depth understand this example this is the way the dimensions manifests and gives birth to the next dimension length gives birth to breadth length and breadth together give birth to depth and length breadth, depth together give birth to time that is why i am saying time is not linear there is no past present future there is only time what you perceive now as your experience like you are inhaling and exhaling you call as present what you can recollect from your stored memory you call as past what you expect or hope inside your head you call as future understand that is why i am saying 99% of us live 99% of our life inside our head so keep it worthy to live no shit inside the head no shit in the stomach and no shit in the head time is not linear time is not linear and time does not move the measuring scales should not be equated to content liter is a measuring method but you cannot say 1 liter milk is 1 liter no milk the content liter is measuring mechanism methodology so minute hour day week month this is measuring methodology do not be deluded by attributing measuring methodology to the content so i will use two different words time is a measuring methodology kala is the content now person who understood kala does not move does not move no past kala no present kala no future kala kala that's all 